Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. In today's video, we're gonna talk about carb timing. So, let's get started. So carbs is probably one of the most misunderstood macronutrients out there. For this reason, you guys, there's a lot of myths. One of the most common carb myths is that eating carbohydrates at night is bad. And there is actually no conclusive evidence that this is the case, regardless of what your goal is, as long as you're getting all of your carbohydrates in the day within your daily carb allowance, the time of day that you eat them really doesn't matter. However, there is some evidence that does show that there are specific times of day that can aid in your goals if you follow accordingly. So the first thing you want to know is pre-workout carbohydrate timing. So if your primary goal is fat loss and it's going to be ideal to consume a minimum of 15 grams of carbohydrates before weight training. And I do not recommend weight training in the fasted state. Resistance training style workouts do rely heavily on glucose. And as a result of that, if you do not have enough glucose in your system, you are going to compromise your ability to perform at a high level. For this reason, I do recommend a minimum of 15 grams of carbohydrates pre-workout or make sure that you just ate a meal prior to the workout that has sufficient carbs and then probably have the time between your meal and your workout to be at least an hour or so. If your primary goal is performance oriented, meaning you want to run faster, you want to have more endurance, or you want to be able to lift heavier. If that is your goal, I suggest eating at least 20 to 30 grams of carbohydrates pre-workout, making sure that's at least 30 to 60 minutes before you partake in either your weight training as well as your cardio sessions. Yes, your cardio sessions. You guys typically hear me say on this channel to do your cardio in the fasted state, which is fine if your goal is fat loss oriented, but if your goal is performance oriented and you're trying to get faster, you're trying to have more endurance and more stamina, you do want to eat 20 to 30 grams of carbohydrates before that training session. Now, a major con misconception is going to be that you can lift heavier, run faster and further. It's going to mean that you're going to look leaner. Now that is not necessarily the case. So keep this in mind. If you want to run faster, if you want to have more stamina, if you want better mile times, if you want better PRs in the gym, that's fine. But that doesn't always necessarily translate into a lower body fat percentage unless your macros are dialed in. So nothing wrong with having performance oriented goals, but don't think that being able to do something is going to result in lowered body fat. Lowered body fat is the result of dialed in macros and maintaining a caloric deficit. So now if your primary goal is gaining lean muscle mass, I'd say have a minimum of 30 grams of carbs pre-workout and that is before weight training and that is before cardio. You wanna do it for both if your goal is gaining lean muscle mass. So it's important with that style of goal to keep your muscle glycogen very full to allow you to grow, to allow you to perform at the highest level. Next thing we're gonna talk about is post-workout carbohydrate timing. So as far as post-workout goes, if you're, again, if your primary goal is fat loss, it is ideal to consume, I'd say about 20 grams of carbs post-workout within 30 to 60 minutes after weight training. And you wanna use your daily allocated carbs for this post-workout refuel. And you wanna use it to replenish your depleted muscle cells which no longer have glycogen in them. So, and it's gonna maximize the utility of your carbohydrates because they are going directly to the muscle cells for replenishment. And it's going to allow them to shuttle into the muscle cells as opposed to being stored as body fat. Now, if your primary goal is performance oriented, again, meaning you're looking to run faster, run further, run longer, lift heavier, it is ideal. I would suggest a minimum of 30 grams of carbs post-workout. And I would say about making sure you get that at least 30 to 60 minutes after your weight sessions as well as after your cardio sessions. And if you are an athlete, please make sure that you have 
your total daily energy expenditure dialed in because you're probably going to need to be eating a lot more food than most people as a result. And last but not least, if your primary goal is gaining lean muscle mass, you're going to want to consume a minimum of 30 to 45 grams of carbohydrates post-workout again for weight training as well as cardio sessions. And if you do them together in the same session, that's perfectly okay, but you only need to replenish a minimum of 30 grams of carbs. You, yes, you can go as high as 45, but only a minimum of 30 to make sure you're hitting your daily requirement for carbohydrates. So that's about carb timing, guys. Now, if you're not sure what your carb intake should be, if you're not sure what your macros should be, make sure you go to gaugegirltraining.com. You can order a one-on-one -on -one macros consultation as well as a customized meal plan where we will customize your macros for you and build menus around your food preferences. So link in the description box. And if you have any questions about carb timing, please comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.